you guys want to see. Yeah. Yes, please. Yeah. I like that. It's wow. so true. Wow. Oh. The only reason we, reason we got here is we did the zoning check, and this was zoned outside the gaming portal or the donut hole. We went to every building and, and knocked on the door to find out who could we talk in the movie, who could we pay in the movie, who was going to give something up. So this was Coors Distributing, built in 1966. Uh, it was a giant cooler. I'll show you back what it looked like. and. Um, the guy that was in here for a few years involved with the uh, setting of conventions was going to retire. We decided to take the whole building and we're going to build the largest in the world. We had everybody was a, a doubter. Yeah. We don't get your vision, guys. A lot of them said in six months, this will be a Korean barbecue. You'd never yeah. make it. Okay, whatever yeah. you think. Wow. Yeah. And me, when we were, you know, we've been in Vegas for too long. My partner and I have been here over a hundred years together. Yeah. <laughs> this is all we know. Yeah. You know, entertainment, visitors coming. What the hell's 13 have to do with marijuana? Yeah. He says the 13th letter of the alphabet's the M. Uh. Just like a song. It's a, it's a club and your parents don't know. So oh you're driving gosh. around, you know, go, hey, Bobby Anderson, look at that. He, I didn't know he spoke. Jimmy Johnson, he spoke too, look at that. <laughs> so then my partner, we wanted to build the Vegas. I said 13, he said, let's call it Planet 13. So that's, awesome. that's how we came up with it. Yeah, that's awesome. So anyway, like I said, that's going to go down. Let's walk in back now. Front to back, everything. This is what all we had to work with. Wow. So you had to have a little bit of imagination. A lot of it. Yeah. 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 So now the fourth phase, again, the hallway goes all the way to the end. This will be a cannabis museum, about 15,000 square feet, two stories. Then on the far left over there is our consumption lot. Be about okay. 8,500 square feet. Oh, nice. There'll be a grand staircase going up outside. It'll be a balcony 20 feet in the air. Again, that's Vegas now. So there's yeah. 100,000 rooms looking down on me. Uh -huh. We'll have a splash pool up there, four inches deep. So you take your shoes off, you dance in the water, oh consume cannabis, dance, and you're in Vegas Live looking your down life. on me. Wow. Wow. There'll be nothing like it in the world. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, when do you think that will be? Uh, we can't start till probably January, even designing, because the rules aren't written. They passed the law in uh, June, and now they're writing the rules on what we got to go by. Yeah. So we're waiting to see how we design it, but okay. it will be over the top on everything. Like that. Yeah, consumption lounges are, are, everybody's very excited for them. Are you expecting that to be a big part of your revenue percentage? Here? Absolutely. Yeah. If you go, if you guys been to the clubs, Yes. It, it pay the play. Yeah. yeah. So you want to get a booth? You got to buy. Yeah. yeah. Who's yeah. got the bigger wallet? Right? And that becomes you replicable. Their as well. friends or their girlfriends right. or whatever. Yeah. And uh, that's it's going to work just like a club here. Yeah. And then you got to buy the cannabis from us. You can't even buy it in there and bring it. Exorbitant price. Yeah. That's yes. just how it is. Because that's what the that's what you do. With it's the experience. Yeah. yeah. Well, how late does right now what you have? How late do you stay open? Twenty four seven. Oh, you're twenty four seven. Show you guys even Christmas. Are you serious? Wow. And always and, busy? And again, always busy. Always busy. It's really the busiest is is uh, Thursday through Sunday. Okay. And yeah. again, uh, in August, we saw 126,000 people through the front door. That's and we're only 75% occupancy for Vegas right, right now. We're not even back to normal. Mm. Wow. But it's expanding for us because of social media and everybody taking pictures right. of, of yeah. the entertainment. Uh, we're looking for a grow that we're having very good luck with also in California. So we do want to be vertical, but we got to be choosy. We got to have a good partner. Someone knows what they're doing. We got to fly to their place and analyze what they're doing. And then we're getting there. We will get there. Watch for the announcements. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. That's all we do. This is brand new, probably five days open. So this is part of the expansion we did. Okay. We, we just got the first set of rails up. We're waiting for the approval next week to put the rest of this up and get them up on all racks. So, of course, we got the raw material. We've got gummy squirts over here and all, a lot of other things that we produce. This is crazy, man. Dude. Well, this is candy. So. Can we steal something? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Look. I mean, I have no idea, but I, I can tell you how it smells. Thank <laughs> you.
Number Most one is there. probably an edible and probably gum store. Yeah, okay. So the rest is our flour. Now, all flour outsells everything. Yeah. Uh, Trendy is the number one big pen in the state, I believe. And uh, our flour is so, really so premium that um, uh, as soon as we announce it, it, it's just gone. It's gone in a few days. Uh, we got to wait until the next crop. That's why we need more and more flour. Yeah, your we flour don't sell our flour pen. to anybody. We don't make enough. Yeah. We only sell it in our store, and it's gone as soon as we bring it to our store. Yeah. We only sell our edibles on. Yeah. So does that go for all of your your brands, whether they're edibles, whether it's trendy, whether it's haha? Like, are they leaders in the state and the market because they follow the plan of thirteen success? Does that make sense? I don't know, but said I think it's the quality of the product. Yeah. Uh, again, nobody wants to push Planet of thirteen. They, they yeah. think it's the sure. I don't know, it's it's that the but we we right. account for eleven or twelve percent of all the cannabis sold in the state from seventy some dispensaries. Comes right. out of just this one store. Wow. And that's yeah. why we do different names so we don't that's see the so problem. I mean, they're like, look at that. done right out of the right out of the oven so now I'm just gonna spread this out put it in these microwaves dry it out oh my god Whoa. we're in the chocolate factory <laughs> Willy Wonka's chocolate factory so again our drink uh, our drink machine over here where we make the cola infused 10 milligrams over to the left we have an automated gummy machine that one guy can operate it and make 10,000 gummy scores an hour injected into the molds. One of one, the first of its kind that uh, we had a custom made for us. Sugaring them here, then we'll let them cure for a day after we sugar them. And then we just installed about a month ago, we do so many gummy squares at uh, 10,000 an hour that it took 12 people to package them. So this machine now will package 13 every minute. We had 12 people trying to operate this. So, wow. uh, our people, we put another shift, so nobody got laid off, but we were able to cut down on the labor on the whole thing. And behind this is a chocolate wrapping machine. This took a, a person a couple minutes to wrap one bar because they had to do it so exact. Right. This will wrap 25 bars a minute. So again, about 15 more people took mm -hmm. the hand labor out to, uh, to keep the cost down. Right here that we see on the right is our peanut butter cup machine. It's the only one in the state of Nevada. This is a cooling tower that you see spiraling going up. There's a closet over here. Come down a little bit while they shake them. And uh, then they go into the cooling. And behind this is an automated chocolate bar machine. How about five or six flavors. The heating element either feeds that or feeds this and rolls over here to produce either chocolate bars or gummy squares. <laughs> automation. Everything is automation. So. so this represents 50 vendors we buy from besides ourselves. Okay. okay. This is packaged, tested, labeled, ready to go on the floor. Okay. So behind every bud tender is where he draws his, his stuff. Mm -hmm. As that goes down, runners keep filling it up for him. Mm -hmm. So they don't have to come back here. Mm -hmm. So this represents right now what you see in here, about $15 million worth of cannabis. Wow. We go through this about every six weeks. <laughs> wow. So, wow. It, it's a lot. Already. There's probably a lot more pre-roll, so let's go down a little farther and what is this? Is it more? We got a lot of pre rolls. That's all, still all pre rolls. We have the gummies next to that, vape pens past that, and, and uh, peanut butter cups and so on. Is this all pre rolls here yet? Yeah, see all this. It's all the different vendors of pre rolls that we do. On and on and on. Crazy.
sales about $124 uh, yeah, per right. person. At that yeah, time. basket size. So this is curbside delivery here where we'll run out oh. the door when the people come up and we have to get out of their car. Mm -hmm. We'll take it out through the car. Very good. Really pretty much all over here. Oh. This is, pick so this is, this is where we pick up our facts. <laughs> Incredible. How do you control inventory here? I mean, there's a lot of stuff like just kind of laying around. I, it's on its own place, but like, well, how we, do you control that? We, we control that? access. Who can go in certain areas? Yeah. Anything that's logged in in a room farther and back goes in the computer right away. So they have a system on every ounce, every quarter ounce. I bet. The whole exact system, period. So, this is our shift change. Okay. And those are money counting machines. So they can dump all their change in, it'll sort it, it'll count their bills automated. So when we have shift changes because we have so many bud tenders, it just it speeds things up so fantastic that this also keeps track of who's selling what. So yeah. if a bud, bud tender sells over a million dollars a year. They can pick any restaurant in town. The owners take them out. We don't care how fancy it is or what they want to spend. They get a $500 reward and they go on the million dollar club. In the middle of COVID, we had six that did it. Wow. The year before when we started, we had 11 that did it. Wow. So we'd expect somewhere close to 15 this year yeah. wow. that will probably hit that. That's, again, a million dollars each. That's did you say a lot of you are back to full capacity or not yet for what you're allowed to bring? number of people? We, we're up to full capacity and bringing people in. Okay. The city is not up to full capacity for conventions and people coming that it was pre-COVID. Okay. We're at about 75%. Okay. okay. We don't have classes now because we had everybody every hand on deck. We need everybody we can because of the surge of people coming in. But we, we have classes five days a week. We really stress training whether you have a, a vendor bringing your product in or our guys ourselves and it's repeated training. We trained so much that two years ago, the, the uh, bud tender awards for the world were held at Mandalay Bay. Do you remember that? Yes. Yes. 7,000 people applied for the best bud tender in the world. We took first place and runner up. Wow. wow. Because of our training, we just stress it so much. They've got to know all of them, each of them, on when somebody asks a question, you're ready to, you have to whether know. it be medical, mm -hmm. whether it be what yeah. the effects, or what do you suggest, or mm -hmm. so on and so forth. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes, we'll take a look here. Wow. Uh, we actually have Holy we actually God. have 500 cameras. Take a look at this. This only represents about 250 of them. They'll they can oh flip back God. and forth where they need yeah. to, but it's wow. every square inch of everything. So you think about something being, in your guys' eyes, a lot of it laying around. It's controlled right. all over. The detail of the cameras is so good we can read the serial number at the dollar bill of a dollar wow. bill at the cash register. What all else is in here, we have the only dog license in the state of Nevada to, to sniff oh, okay. marijuana. Okay. Now, this seems kind of weird in a marijuana place. Right. <laughs> it's not to sniff the customers. It's not really to sniff marijuana. It's to sniff concentrated marijuana. So in other words, stuff in a bag that's already sealed. Yeah. I go, get out of here. Yeah. So let me see. So I put it under my arm and bring the dog in. He goes, no stops right there. Now let me try it again. I'll see it this time. Wow. So we do it for our employees. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because employees can get sticky fingers. Yeah. They can finish in the camera. They can yeah. cup it something, put it in. Oh, yeah, that's what I was and, asking and, and, earlier. And what goes on is is uh, you used to have to search sometimes. Intermittent. Yeah. Well, all of a sudden, you're avoiding my privacy. Now we don't have to touch anybody. The dog goes around. They know how good he is. We do demos for him to show them how good yeah. he is. But he soon everything stops. Good. Wow. Oh, the dog. That's him. Yeah. He's so cute. My humble abode. Yeah. You guys want to see it? Yeah. Yes, please. Yeah. Oh, it's, huh. it's wow. so true. Wow. And yes, I did print. Are you sure you're not a stoner? <laughs> Are you sure you're not a stoner? <laughs> 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 Have you guys even seen the money yet? So what this is, just to explain. There's actually one more row that makes up a million dollars. Okay. okay. We did this for the Las Vegas Convention Visitors Authority. Okay. They had to go to the Federal Reserve to get rules on how to print this. Mm. So if you took this band off, there's a white stripe going down there. Oh, okay. We had to have not legal tender. Yeah. We had to have nine, uh, three or six percent 
less than the original bill. It could mm -hmm. only be printed on one side. Mm -hmm. The illusion is those are all hundred dollar bills. Right. Yeah. Right. This is all fake paper, and only top one printed is only printed right. on one side. Right. Right. Yeah. But we put it in black uh, black duffel bags. We sent it off for the convention authority for invitations. Imagine oh, cool. getting this, saying, yeah. "Here's a little something for your trip." You go. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. So it was a big bang when we did it. Okay. That's cool. Yeah. That's the whole thing went. That's awesome. Yeah, so. Cool. Yeah. I think that the videographer what? might want to, they say if you give us a kiss, you have 10 years of good luck. Do you what know that? It? Huh? What is it? It's called an ukus. Oh. An ukus. And anybody up for it? Uh, can I see it? Can I can I see I what it is and try it and try it? What what do I have to do? Kiss it. Give it, 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 it ten years of yeah. good luck. Yeah, of course. It, is this a trick? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is it now? Is it uh, petrified wood or it's a, a petrified? It's not a petrified, oh, but it's actual yeah. wall, uh, penis walrus. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're, we're into penis it's bones. It's tucked up on the walrus. It's an actual wall. It's it's porous. Of course, so the semen goes through it. And it's in Larry's office stays in there. Yeah. It's funny. That's a wrap on the Planet 13 tour. We are out. out.